Hey everybody, it's Brett Allen with your life hack of the week. I promised you one for Halloween, and if you've got a party coming up, this one might come in handy. Let's say you want to display candy. You want to put candy out around the house. You do that a lot, the little candy corns, whatever. But you don't want to just put it in a paper bowl like this. You want to make it look nice, right, for the people that come to your party. So, what we're going to use is a pumpkin. Now, you might not necessarily need one quite this big, or you might have a bowl that's a little bit bigger. Obviously, you're going to fit whatever works in your house. But uh, first things first, we got to take the top off of this baby, and we'll get started with that right now. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're going to cut out this pumpkin, but I don't want to go too wide because obviously the bowl will fall right in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just mark the pumpkin a little bit around the outside so that I can see where it is. Obviously kids, don't do this by yourself. <laughs> Let a parent help you out with the sharp part. So I'm just going to mark the pumpkin as to where it's going to be, and then after I mark it, then I'll come in about an inch from the bowl and we'll cut from there. All right, so this part of the pumpkin is going to come out. The stem is kind of in there. Now, here's what's really cool about it. If you really love the smell of pumpkins, essentially for this, for this, you really don't even need to take it all out. Obviously, I need to cut a little bit more out because I want it to kind of just set right inside the pumpkin. So I'm going to go through and go a little bit longer. Don't forget, it's like a haircut. You can't ever uh, put it back in but you can always take more off. So if you find out that it's a little bit too small for the bowl, that's fine. Then like just like this, it is a little bit too small. I'm gonna just keep going a little bit longer, shaving it off a little bit more as I go. Again, you can put it right in there because this isn't like actually carving your pumpkin, okay? You just, wanna, you just wanna make a hole in the top where the bowl can fit. And again, if you've got a bigger pole, a bigger, a bigger bowl, and you have to cut out the top quite a bit, it's okay, it's fine. Probably best to, I mean, you know, this is what we've got around the office, so this is what we use, but you know, if you've got a nicer clear bowl, maybe a dark bowl, something you can put in there, it's gonna make it look a whole lot more better, a whole lot more better, a whole lot better for you as you uh, as your guests come in the door. Then you take your treats, whatever it is, whether it be your Chex Mix or whatever, you put it in there, you don't have to worry about it, getting pumpkin stuff on it, and then, uh, you know, you get that nice little pumpkin. If you really wanted to, you could carve out the entire pumpkin and still put the thing in top, the bowl in the top, and, uh, you know, have a nice little decorative bowl. All right, so now that the kids have gone to bed, we're going to turn this baby into a cooler. Now, I'm going to give you an extra, an extra hack, parents, while you're actually doing the jack-o'-lanterns this year. You don't necessarily, this is like the common way. Everybody just takes the top, they cut a hole in it, and then they have to reach their hands all the way in to get all this pumpkin stuff out. Which, you know, the kids might like it, but you know, if you're the one that always has to do it, it's it kind of tedious. If you want, instead of cutting a hole, you can cut around in a circle in the front, but as you're going around, instead of completing that circle, come down the back of the pumpkin. You can go all the way down. There's nothing that says you can't do that. Essentially, that'll give you an entire trap door. This whole entire back part can come off when you're doing your jack-o'-lantern, and, uh, and then you can just, you know, the seeds will just fall right out of the pumpkin, essentially. But that will not work for this next life hack. We're gonna turn this baby into a cooler. If you think about it, these things contain moisture all the time anyway. So what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna clear out the inside of the pumpkin, throw a couple beers in there, load it up with some ice, and we've got ourselves a cooler. Here we go. All right, so we got this thing mostly cleaned out. It's still got a lot of crap in it, but uh, for the most part, it is cleaned out. For your party, you're gonna wanna make sure you get everything out of there, just so that your guests don't end up having pumpkin pieces on their beer. But if you look, obviously these beers fit very nicely in this pumpkin, and this is just four here. So if I can fit four very easily inside the pumpkin, think of how many you can fit if you really try. So you're gonna put the beers in, load the ice in on top, hang these things around your house for the party. People won't ever have to go far to get themselves a nice frosty cold beverage. There you go, there's your next life hack. There's a couple there for you for Halloween. Hope you have a very safe, fun season, enjoy.